Hello and welcome to What Has Drew Been Up To? Number three. Yeah, number three. I am knackered because I went into town yesterday. Right, the intro isn't on this video because it is under construction. It is being slightly updated. I'm updating the update intro. Right, okay, might as well start off with this. Um, keep dropping it. This is a fez. Hooray, Fez. Oh, I look like Zelda. Um, yeah, I got this for Zelda. Um, got it in Cyprus. And what well, I did the Fez song video, which was, um, which I made last week. So, watch that, please. Um, yeah, it's a very nice hat. I'll give that back to Zelda when I'm done. And while well, you've seen this, if you saw my Greatest Show in the Galaxy review, I got a little band here. It says bow ties are cool. It has a little bow tie there, and that's good because um, in HMV it has a um, big Doctor Who section. And actually, when they released like a few weeks ago something about a Doctor Who potato head, that's there now. So that's all good. Um, right, let's get cracking. I didn't get many things yesterday. But I got some pretty decent things. Um, first thing is Fallout Boy from Under the Cork Tree. I love Fallout Boy. Um, I have all of their albums apart from the first one. I've got their latest one, which is brilliant. I love. Oh, Fallout Boy is awesome. This has two of their most popular songs: Dance Dance or Dance Dance, however you like to say it. Tomato Tomato, um, and Sugar We're Going Down. It is very nice. You have the booklet thing, which is what's the cover, so you can sing along to your favourite tunes. Um, that's the CD, a bit grey, because it is grey. Um, so yes, Fallout Boy from Under the Cork Tree. Yes, I got the title right. Um, the second thing I got, um, well, when I was talking about the uh, Doctor Who section, You've kind of got the till, and you've got the Doctor Who section in front of it, and then to the left there's a Kick-Ass section, because of course Kick-Ass 2 has come out now, and I'm a ma massive fan of the first Kick-Ass. Got it here, first Kick-Ass. Very good. In the um, real cinema, whatever it's called, like, disc thing, it's yeah, whatever. And I actually finished it um, in the afternoon and this morning. I got the um, graphic novel of Kick-Ass, the, the um, comic that um, the film was based on. And it, was a, it was an interesting read. It was interesting to see how similar and like how faithful the film was to the actual source material. It, I mean, yeah, a few changes here and there. But it is, oh, it is pretty close. I mean, the final act is a bit different, and a few bits here and there. But definitely recommend it. Well, it's a bit gorier than the film, and even that's a fifteen. So if you're not if you're not fifteen and up, don't buy because it's a bit inappropriate. I mean, I kick ass the film. I think it's one of those. Would you show your children that, or wouldn't you, you know? But yeah, that's all good. And you're probably thinking, oh, come on, man, this is... Wasn't this meant to be Doctor Who collection update thing? Well, I'm kind of branching out with what I was dreaming up to. But the final thing I got was... Doctor Who, The Invasion, Patrick Troughton's story. Saw it, looked interesting, because, um... It's the animated thing, and I've never gotten a reconstruction DVD yet, and I'm going to unbox it. Seven ninety nine. I got all of these from HMV, besides the Fez. I got this from HMV as well. I just go to HMV for everything. Alright. Ooh. Magical. Alright, I'm going to keep that sticker on. It says, oh, special edition DVD with... Episodes 1 and 4, recreated. Whoop-de-doo. 
How long was it? 2006 when this DVD released? Wow. It seven years old. So the animation might be a bit dated, but hey ho. It's got Cybermen, which is cool. In their more, you know, uh, famous form with more squarish heads. Yeah, it looks quite interesting. Oh, it's it's two discs. I didn't know that. Get two discs. You get, get a Cyberman there, and that's disc one. And you get the Brigadier. Yeah. That's all. That's cool. How many parts is it? Oh my. Eight parts. I thought it was a six parter. My. And that is a real miracle that only two of these episodes are lost when it's an eight parter, you know? That's really odd. Wow. That is cool. Alright, so you've got all that. Rabish. So yeah. The Invasion. I've got quite a few Doctor Who stories that I need to watch. I still need to watch The Ambassadors of Death and Terror of the Zygons and Planet of the Spiders, which I got ages ago. You know? <laughs> it's all piling up now. But that's good. Because now I don't I, I don't feel overwhelmed. I feel motivated to do it. Right. Thank you for watching guys. Um Next, what I've driven up to should be soon, because I might go into town again um, during the summer. Might do. Who knows? Let's see. Let's wait and see. Um, next video will be the Octopussy review, the James Bond film. Um, that was the next review I needed to review. Yeah. So, should be good if you're a James Bond fan. Fan. I've got cold. See ya. Whoa, you thought it was the end of the video, didn't you? <laughs> you probably didn't. Right, I kind of forgot to add something. Yesterday I went into town, got that rubbish that I just showed you, and I watched The Conjuring. And I'm kind of do do a little reaction slash review right now. Conjuring is a 15, so once again, like, kick-ass. Um, don't watch it. Like, seriously, it kick-ass, I'm kind of... Uh, you can watch it when you're 14, I'd say, maybe 13. Yeah, you might just be mature enough for it. But this, seriously, it is so scary that if I was to watch it like four or five years ago, I'd have nightmares about it. But I was scared in the moment watching the film now, so I didn't have nightmares after watching it because I'm slightly more mature now, and I can kind of realise that yes, these films aren't real. Besides the fact that they always say, oh, based on a true story. And apparently it is sort of true because, like, the cases, like, with these two people that investigate demonic spirits and paranormal activity are real and they did investigate this and stuff. So, yeah, good film. The Conjuring mostly consisted of jump scares, but boy, were they some good jump scares. I mean, not all of them were, of course... There, there wasn't much CGI, well, from what I could tell. It was a lot of makeup and like puppetry and stuff. And the makeup was enough to scare <laughs> my friend next to me, which was quite funny. Like the just the prosthetics of the kind of main, like oogly boogly in the film. And there was some humour as well. Every so often, you get the odd joke from it from a character that was later introduced which was quite funny and the characters were quite likeable which was good which you don't really expect from a horror film yeah you don't expect them to be developed like I mean they're not the most fleshed out characters you'll ever see in movie history but they are definitely likeable and maybe the children like the five daughters aren't so eh, they're kind of there you know just to serve a like danger really like one of them gets captured or whatever you know and they're like oh no the children so yeah good film and now i will end the video next review octopussy or next video octopussy oh yeah